Oh my god. Oh my god, it's hatching oh right my now. My god. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Hey guys, my name is Phil Torres, and the other voice you can hear in this video freaking out a little bit is this guy, Aaron Pomerantz. Now, we were recently on an expedition to Yasuni National Park in Ecuador. You're about to hear two scientists freak out because we were the first people to ever watch the creature behind this weird structure be born. So yes, scientific discovery kind of sounds like freaking out. Take a listen. Dude, it's coming out. This is so cool. It's popping oh out god, at the oh bottom. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> it's literally hatching this second. Hatch, hatch. Come on out, come on out. Push. What's so exciting about this is that it was just three years ago that we found this weird structure. A friend of ours named Troy Alexander discovered it, and then two years ago we discovered it was a spider making it. But still, it is a mystery. Why is there that circle around it? Why does it have that little tower in the middle? We didn't really know. So watching more of this birth, we're slowly starting to figure it out. Take a look. Oh, he's hatching. Look at the other one coming out too. Oh my gosh. Crazy. Well, we got twins, so. Oh yeah, my god. Head. Look at that guy. Oh my gosh. That's like a that spider. He's out. He's out. Kick. You. These are our babies now. Are our child. <laughs> god, what spider is that, man? On that note, let's hand it over to Aaron. All right, man, so how are we gonna describe this mystery spider? Well, scientists employ a few different techniques to classify species. One way is the morphological characteristics. So we could look at the physical features of this organism and tell if it's the same or different from others. But in this case, that's a little tricky because we only saw these baby spider links hatch. And you really wanna use the adults for morphological characteristics. So there's a trick we can pull for option number two. We can use a process called DNA barcoding. And essentially this looks at a small piece of DNA within our little spider, and then we can compare it to all other species that exist in a database. And this can tell us sort of where our species fits in. Is it more closely related to this species or is it entirely new? So what happened? We took our little spiders and we sent them to the Canadian Center for DNA Barcoding. So we did get back this snippet of DNA, we got its, its DNA barcode, but it doesn't exactly match to anything that exists in the database. Now this could mean one of two things. It could mean that our spider is a completely new species, so its DNA doesn't match to the DNA of any other species. But there can also be this second option, where perhaps the spider has been described from its morphological characteristics, and its DNA just doesn't exist in this database right now. So those are our two scenarios that we're left with. I think either one is, you know, a possibility, so we'll have to continue to do more work. This one piece of DNA that we've got now is just another step in the process of trying to solve this spider mystery.